how is it that that people get to that place where where we don't necessarily agree on on one thing right is it is it the narrative that is coming from the government that people feel that we're not having enough autonomy are we not then in essence being treated in an environment that makes us feel safe and worthwhile like you mm -hmm. mentioned where does that stem from yes it stems very much from those two basic needs and the fact that some people in the united states have felt that they are not getting um, recognition, a sense of self-esteem, a sense of access to things that can protect them and their children. Mm -hmm. And when you feel deprived of all of those things, mm -hmm. you find every possible way to reestablish a sense of self, a sense of worth. Mm -hmm. And one way to do that is to look for your freedom in every corner. Mm. And the problem is that sometimes you look for freedom in the wrong places. And that breaks my heart because um, the people that are against these health measures mm -hmm. come from a place of, of, of real frustration and displacement and deprivation. But because they, they never received the tools necessary to assess for themselves the evidence around these health measures because they were not given a good education. They were not given an affordable education. They were not given the tools to, to, to go read the scientific evidence and say, what are we talking about here? Is this safe? Is this not safe? They, they then they searched for autonomous choice in this rejection or everything that comes to them from the people that they blame for their condition. And I don't, I don't blame the fact that they blame others. Mm -hmm. I understand that the deep disconcern that animates those feelings, mm -hmm. but it breaks my heart because you end up damaging yourself in, in the search for autonomous choice and freedom from imposition from a government you don't trust you end up damaging yourself, the people you love, and frankly, everybody you are interdependent with. Because the issue with vaccination and masks is rarely just an issue about you individually, it's an issue with protecting everybody around you. And we end up being so wrapped up in our personal needs that we forget that it's not just about us individually, it's about, it's about living together in peace and prosperity and helping each other out. And the scientific evidence is actually quite overwhelming that this stuff is safe. It's actually quite overwhelming that we should all embrace it. But the, the, the lack of trust and the sense that those people with those high um, you know, scientific credentials or political power have been throwing stuff at us without giving us access to all of those opportunities to grow and learn and, and be good and be wealthy and be situated well in our society. They, yeah. you know, we, we, we are pushed down and so we push back. And actually the research, uh, our research shows it. When you feel like you've been pushed around and excluded and treated mm -hmm. mean, and not given the opportunity, not given those valued resources. The moment you have one way to push back, you use it. Even when it damages you. And that is what drives me to such levels of sadness because I would, I would like the people who are so concerned about embracing these health measures, I would like them to see that it's, it's for them too. But we're guiding to the point where they don't believe the source of this knowledge yeah, because they've true. been excluded from it for, for so long. I could see that. Because then you, you go into confirmation bias and everything you do. You see, it's like you do. It's just a circle. It's just a circle. It's a vicious cycle of, of the mm. utmost proportions. And if we could get the people who have felt uh, unsafe, excluded, and, um, 
and also not given a way to feel good about themselves. You know, if I end up with my job gone, mm -hmm. my livelihood threatened, my neighborhood uh, declining, crime may be going up because when you have poverty and you have difficulty, crime goes up because people are desperate. Mm -hmm. I am not here very eager to hear it from the so-called elites telling me, get the vaccine. It's good for you because I don't uh, trust them anymore. I don't want to hear, hear I don't want to hear yeah. from those guys, right? I don't want to hear it, except that it will be in truly honest to goodness in your best interest in this particular set of circumstances to embrace that resource because it's a resource that can help us all. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want to lose the people you love. You don't want to lose talented people in your, in your community that die and they can no longer contribute to, that, to, the, to, the, to the prosperity of that community. It's terrible. It's terrible to watch, but it's all done in the name of not having helped people satisfy those two basic needs for safety and self-esteem that we all treasure. And when you deprive me of it, I'll do anything to reestablish them in some way, even when it's mm -hmm. terrible for me.